Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use the depth of market tool, otherwise known as the dome, as a unique and self-sufficient tool for manual trading on the multi-charts platform provided with Oanda Forex data. So as you may know, the dome or the depth of market is typically used in futures trading. Multi-charts is a platform that is typically catered around futures trading, but as you can see here, it does accept futures data. Now, one of the unique things about this platform is that you can use the dome with Forex data. So the dome typically takes in depth of market and shows the different depth levels and who's trading at what specific prices. Now you won't actually see that on the dome within multi-charts, but you'll be able to, like I mentioned earlier, use it as a way, a unique and self-sufficient tool for being able to use entry and exit automation. And you can set that all up directly from the dome. And it's a great way to see all the price levels broken down. So you can pick that exact level you'd like to place your trade at. So let's get into it up in the top left hand corner here where my mouse is currently hovering over. You'll see the shortcut for create new dome window. You can do so under file as well. If you click on new and then head over to dome window. Control Alt Insert is also an acceptable keyboard shortcut. Now, once it does load, you'll first need to enter in your contract, which can be done in the top left. As you can see, we already have the Euro versus US dollar added here. If you want to, you can click that search button and scroll through the available instruments you have. If you don't know how to add a Forex instrument to the platform, please refer back to this playlist and look at our detailed video showing you how to add instruments. All right, so if we click OK and then enter, as you can see, it is waiting for data. Now, because like I mentioned earlier, this isn't futures data, it's expecting to pull in those depth levels and it will look a bit different on multi-charts when you are using futures data. So just keep that in mind. But as you can see here, we have the depth of market now, like I said, this is a great tool when making unique and self-sufficient um, decisions, especially entry and exit and automating. This can all be done through this. So we expect that many of our users would use this in conjunction with the chart. So let's open up a chart as well for the euro versus US dollar. And we'll open back up the dome window and we can use both side by side. Let's stick this so it's always pinned. So now if you want, you can actually view the market and this is a great way to view back and forth. So you can look for any trends or anything you may notice or use your drawing tools and indicators on the chart. While on the left hand side, you have your dome and we can enter and exit any positions at any time. So let's do so now. It works very simple. If you just left click on an available price level, depending on which side you click or depending on whether it's below or above the market price, you'll get a specific order. So as you can see here, if I click on 1.117 as a price level, being that I'm on the buy side and above the market, it'll establish my order as a buy limit. If you want, if you like to trade frequently or you need high speed execution, click the do not ask me again button. As you can see, we do get a confirmation that pretty much just asks you that by accepting this confirmation, you're 100% manually trading. You will not get order confirmation windows anymore. So like I said, for those of you that are trading frequently and don't need that buffer in between, you'll want to uh, click this do not ask me again button. We'll disable it for now. So if we click yes, our order is automatically placed. And now you can see we actually have our limit order right there. So once the market does touch it, it will fill. If you want, you can cancel it at any time by clicking the X. We can actually change a quantity by clicking on that one there. And you can either use one of these uh, order entry things. You have a couple presets or you can just manually highlight it as it already is and type in whatever you want. Now, as for the actual position here, you'll notice I get a little hand icon when I hover over that specific price level. You can actually drag this around and change your position or change your price level at any time. Just left click, sorry, left click hold, and you can see you can dra drag it to a new position. So for whatever reason, we wanna change our price level or just don't like where we placed it, we can drag it up a few spots. And now we have a new limit order. 
at 1.11703. Let's do one below this market price on the sell side. As you can see, this has us putting a sell at the limit. Again, you can manually customize, you can click up and down arrows. If you click yes, it'll put that position where you uh, designated it. Now let's continue some other options. You do have your buy market, sell market down here for each of the corresponding buy and sell sides. As you can see with a simple click, you get that confirmation window and you're automatically put at the market there. If at any time you want to cancel on your positions, you can simply click cancel all down there in the bottom left. If you already have some positions established, we can click close. Or if you want to get to the opposite side, you'll just click reverse. Either one is a valid option there. As you can see, we reversed. And with the close, it'll close us out of everything. As you saw, that price level, that middle column there does turn white when you have an active position. Some other notable features down in the bottom left, we do have our order quantity from the start here rather than readjusting it. Once you already have a position, again, it works same before. You can click up and down, manually enter, or you have some presets there. In the middle of between your, um, your quantity and the actual date we're currently at, you do have the different order durations, you could say, or the flags that some platforms would call it. So right now we're on the day, so at the end of the trading day, our, any positions we have will be closed out. Good till cancel, as it may sound, or good till day. And as you can see here, you do get a calendar. So if you wanna hold positions in the long term, this might be the option for you. And although I won't cover everything in full detail here, I do want to show you that you do have some nice order placement options. So if you'll hover over each of these different little symbols here, as you can see, we get unique orders. So for those of you that like stop orders, you can use that. You can double left click to place a stop at a specific price level. I believe you can actually left click hold. And as you can see, you can drag and drop at the specific price levels you want. Same thing with limit, although clicking before was sort of what we we're doing, but this is just an option of manually doing it if you need precise uh, orders and you don't feel like messing around and misclicking. Here we have stop limit, so combination of a stop order and a limit, same thing, just left click hold, or you can double click and configure that there. As you can see, you can figure your stop side and your limit side. Here we have breakout strategies. So again, if you just hover over for a second and you do get a full description, as you can see, as long as your mouse is hovered over. Like I said, these are advanced order strategies and we'll create an entirely separate video on this. I just wanna show the main features of the dome and how it functions with Forex data. And then if you click that drop down menu, you just got a couple more options there. We have breakdown and fade strategies, break out up fade strategies, and then we have a, a basic fade. Now, for those of you that need uh, specific exit strategies, we have those as well. And again, if you're familiar with how this works on futures data with multi charts, this is going to be the same exact thing with Forex data. Like I said, the only main difference here is that you won't get the depth of market and the actual visual representation of the depth. Just to cover these exit strategies real quick, be wrapping this video up, bracket orders, as you may expect, break even strategies trailing stops, stop loss. If we click that down arrow, we have two more, profit target, and a master strategy, which incorporates multi-level brackets and multi-stage trailing stops, break-even strategies, as well as individual stop loss. So you got a, a mix of all of them there. So feel free to mess around with these and try what you like. Again, we'll be covering these in another video. These are advanced order strategies. So. We just wanted to show the primary function of the dome and how it actually functions using Forex data. Very similar to futures data or any other type of data you may have used on multi charts, but just don't get that visual representation of the market depth. That just about wraps it up for this video. If you do have any questions, feel free to place them in the comment section down below or head over to a community forum. Our moderators are always watching and answering any questions that may be asked. Um, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more Forex and Futures content, and we thank you for watching.